Man, what a day for crypto news. I cannot believe this this hasn't been affecting prices in the market yet, but this is something, uh, a couple things that can help really usher in this big crypto boom, this big embrace here in the US. And the great news about this is this is stuff that can specifically lead to a boom in terms of Cardano, and I'm excited to share this with you guys. I'm Luxide, welcome to the channel. If you guys are new or haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below, hit that bell again, it's free to do. It will keep you updated anytime there's new content live here on the channel. So this is something I've seen kind of pop up here and there and really didn't give much thought to it, but now it is becoming bigger. And this is the proposed no capital gains tax on US-based crypto. Now, this is something that the Trump administration wants to uh, deploy, and it's specifically for US-based cryptocurrencies. Why this is in fact important is that this can help usher in a, a crypto development boom here in the US. Most developers, at least as of late, have kind of stayed away from the US because of the scope of the SEC, the push that we've that pushback that we've gotten, which I'll get to that a little bit later on in this video. And this really is going to help open up the door towards more projects being launched, more development taking place. And in fact, it will bring more investors to the space. Believe it or not, large investors do pay attention to capital gains. They pay attention to long-term and short-term capital gains tax. I pay attention to these things. And if they do not have to pay tax, if they can keep more money in their pocket, that is a huge, huge deal. And that's how you get into mass adoption, right? That's a very big deal. Now, this is gonna be beneficial for assets like ADA, Algo, HBAR, XRP, amongst many others. And so it would not surprise me if, if this does get implemented, you start to see a big boom take place with a lot of these assets. This isn't a guarantee, this isn't financial advice or anything like that, but know that this would play a big part in that. Now, this is the peace day resistance, all right? President Trump and the upcoming Department of Government Efficiency are exploring a federal blockchain-based election voting system or, or voting and identity verification system. Now, does this sound familiar? According to sources familiar with the matter, the system will be built in partnership between X, Cardano, Hyperledger, and Hedera. That is a very big deal. That is how you become uh, a mainstay within the blockchain space, but that's also how you get picked up for generations to come. We've talked about Cardano building infrastructure for the future. This is this is a big one, right? This is all coming on the back of talks of, of voter fraud. Uh, obviously, the left talking about voter fraud this cycle, the right talking about voter fraud last cycle. This is basically creating the transparency that we need in the 21st century when it comes to voting, all right? So they plan to have this implemented by 2028, um, and we'll obviously see what takes place there, but that is a big deal if Cardano is picked up in this way. Now, a couple other exciting things taking place. Gary Gensler actually spoke at the Practicing Law Institute 56th Annual Conference, and the speech that he gave there sounded very much like a farewell speech. Now, many people are aware that Donald Trump spoke and, and told people that on day one, he was planning on firing Gary Gensler and basically getting to this more uh, embraced approach when it comes to crypto rather than this regulation by enforcement that is that has dri driven people nuts during this market cycle. It is something that drastically needs to change. And during this conference, Again, it sounds like he may in fact be stepping down himself rather than waiting for this resignation to come. So we'll obviously see what happens there, but even more recently, some news came out about 18 states filing a lawsuit against the SEC and its commissioners for constitutional overreach. This kind of goes back to something I've been talking about even since the, the bear market cycle. I have said many times, Nobody gave the SEC actually authority to regulate this industry. They just basically jumped in. They're like, yep, you know, we're going to regulate this like it is in fact securities, which is not, which we figured out from all these different court cases. And this pushback has been drastically needed. And it is nice that we are finally starting to see some very large entities step up, push back, and again, open up the doorway for further adoption, further embrace. So the thing that you need to know is some of this stuff is is actually really all of this stuff could be in fact very beneficial for ADA. Again, can help bring in this, this new adoption boom for the Cardano ecosystem. This can help ADA price with new investors coming into the space. This is why it's so important that Cardano has done what it's done to this point. The developments, the timing, it has all been absolutely perfect. And now it's set up for probably the biggest adoption boom we will see in this market. So I just wanna share that with you guys. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Do you think this stuff is gonna help move ADA price further? Do you think it's gonna be stuff that helps Cardano really gain even more traction in this industry? But have a great day, show your love below. I'll catch you guys in the next one.
Take care.